Got no gods and goddesses, kings and queens. Got no god in you. The knives, the greeting, family, allies, and enemies. What's happening? Some double rice. Look, man. I was very disturbed by this post on Instagram that my little homegirl had put up. And the way that rest of my little homeboys and homegirls was reacting to this post, right? It like, none of them was disturbed by it. And they was all okay with it. And the post was some man in prison dancing right so uh and it wasn't like the, this dance hold on and it, the way it was it, I didn't I really didn't fully understand it like it's like he was having fun now I'm gonna play this now look this is in prison, South Africa. I can understand this. I can. Look at that. It's tribal. Unifying. You, you looking at power in this. Now, the kind of dancing this brother was doing, it was just like, homie, you in jail twerking. And people be like, slip double, yeah, maybe I'm way out there. But I be reading stuff that's way out there, and it's things that seem like they can't do that, right? So, right here, this is drone bots and smart weapons, artificial intelligence and agent security, right? Now, if you look at this panel, there's no Africans on this panel at all. And if you just go listen to some of the things that they're talking about. You know, killer robots, but then I hear, well, actually, there are a whole lot of other uses of artificial intelligence. So can you help me understand a bit? When we're talking about um, autonomous weapon systems, what are we autonomous weapon systems talking about here? I mean, what should we actually be paying attention to? <clears throat> yeah, thank you, Lindsay, um, and thank you uh, for inviting me to, to this event today. Um, I think one of the things that I'm going to vehemently disagree with the ambassador about is the notion that you need to just talk about characteristics and not a definition, because we actually do um, have a, a... I'm going to cut it, because the lecture, it, it seems, is born to a lot, and the group on this YouTube that I'm trying to reach is the people that ain't really about to sit down and read it or don't want to actually listen to the whole thing, but she's about to go into, they don't care how long a drone could stay in the air or under the water, but what they do care about is when it decides to take action and kill. Now, they are basically right now what they're working on. They're working on drones to be able, they be able to give it some information and it go attack the target. Now, this right here is U.S. military release micro drone swarm. Micro drone swarm from a jet, right? So I'm going to play some of this and I want you to pay attention to it. Now, right here is dropping drones. And when you watch the video, you get in close, and you can see the drones falling. But let me fast forward. Now, these are the drones activating. Now, United States have a, a, a system right now that it operates off of. I forgot the name of the system. But basically what it, it, it tells is, like if you have some troops, your troops that have this beacon on them, tanks that have the beacon, the Navy ships that have the beacon, jets that have the beacon. And from satellite imaging, it basically give what the a snapshot or a picture of live, well not even a picture, it's live feed from the battleground. Where, well, we have this team over here and we can send them to the hot zone. So it gives them, not only do they see you got to think of Google Maps. Google Maps is also being used. Do they see the terrain, but they also see where their troops and all their resources are on the terrain. So now what the drone does with these drones, these mini drones, they drop these drones out. And these drones pretty much take smaller shots of any area that they decide to send them to. You feel me? So, and this is, you got to understand that drones are also implemented within the United States.
They use drones. If you don't believe it, go look at Compton. Compton, they had 24-hour surveillance over 25 square miles. Compton is only um, 5 by 5 square miles. That's 10 square miles. Meanwhile, this is what we're doing. Yeah, he's in prison. Let me bring y'all closer. Blacks, Mexicans, this is what they doing. In prison. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Now this right here is cool. This exercise with all that, with all that. So then they be like, "What's well, the double, you know, man? You 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 came from that. You feel me? So how can you talk about that?" Well, I could pull up El Chapo and how Chapo broke out of that, and there's no gang that's actually actively trying to break their homies out of prison. But let's continue on where our mind is and where the minds of others are. This right here, right here, tripped me out. I'm going to have to do more research into this. This is a nano drone. I believe this drone walk, but it flies, and it has a syringe on it. When I seen the picture, I'm like, there's a syringe on the front of this drone. Now, you got to understand, this is a small, it's on the fingertip. You pr look, they have to zoom in to where you, you can see. the Look, look. I, it's certain things that when I see, I pick things out. Just to show how small this drone is, the camera zoomed in, and you can see the fingerprints on the person's finger. Understand that? Boy, yeah. turn that song down. Anyway, you can see the fingerprints on the drone, uh, on this, uh, basically under the drone. The syringe is, so that lets you know how small the syringe is, but that's enough to kill you with the kind of poisons that they have now, right? So let's play. Camera and microphone. Power source. It says, uh, what you have to your attachments accomplish a syringe. Processor. Legs appear to work via repel, repelling and attracting electromagnetic. So there's a processor on this thing. Nano drone from US Army. US Army, they implement drones. More drones. They just basically pairs the drones that they come out with there. Look, they even got, well, hold on. Rats. All right. So let me go ahead and stop this one. So basically, drones are getting smaller. Uh, and we'll go back into Swarm and, and what, why it matters that they're coming up with Swarm drones now. Because if drones are being used as military weapons, you see they have whole military panels, military weapons, and then certain people are being locked in prisons, that lets you know where these, these weapons are, who these weapons are going to be used on. So let's watch this. Check that out. Now, if this not out of like those sci-fi movies that you was watching and the people are poor running through the woods fighting and shooting at drones, this is exactly where things are heading. There, and then if you notice your cities, and, and I noticed this in Florida, I noticed this in Atlanta, notice your cities. Uh, Trump talking about build a wall, build a wall, build a wall. There's a lot of walls going up on the freeways. And it's kind of like they're making the whole city a gated community. We developed a method to transition between formations in 3D. Now, 
Now, he just said formations in 3D. Basically, what they're doing is, they, they you see these drones right now without weapons, and they're taking formations. When drones start taking formation, they have military formations, and I wish I would have had one of these books out so I could pull and show you these military formations that was taken with troops and soldiers. And you think like Rome, for example, and they sin, or you could think about these like these different simulations of, or the video games and the computer games more likely, where you build your group and your group go out and you pick different formations for your group to fight and battle. This is basically what's happening here. You're going to have these drones taking Alpha or Bra Bravo going in and taking different windows and getting ready. They are, actually have drones that shoot bullets now. Watch this. The team can also navigate in environments with obstacles. Look. Basically, what they just did, the drones just went through a window. So, you got to think, you have a house, you inside of your home, and you, I mean, matter of fact, hell, let's say that you know the tyrannical police came and start to kick your house, y'all having some kind of disagreement, they want to come and kill you. They break out a window in the back and send drones in there and start navigating through your house to kill you. This is basically what's going on. Figure eight pattern. And they moving. I mean, it, this is amazing. They moving in a figure eight, not hitting each other. All right. So let's go ahead and stop that. Uh, meanwhile, what are we doing? Oh, okay. We up in, we up in places like this. Black, brown, throwing up gang signs, feeling ourselves. We hard. We hard, nigga. Yeah, we we gangsta, nigga. We gangsta, nigga. All this, nigga, cut this crip, blood, vato, all that other shit. Yeah, we hard. And look, I got a job. I'm working. Not breaking any laws. But hell, I could say something over this right here. Will they light me up indefinitely, homie? What I'm saying is we have to start preparing our minds to where we can start to prevent our brothers and sisters going to this. Black, brown, look, homie, we got to stop going to these places. And we got to figure out how are we keep getting in here and our young and our youth are going to these places. And we can't fail our future generations. So let me stop right there. And and look, for, let, 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 me, let me, hold on. No, let me not stop right there. Let me go back in. To all the brothers and sisters that's in jail, if y'all think, if y'all think, matter of fact, let me find it. Let me find it. Hold on. Where is that? I, I gotta go. I gotta go. I man, it's about to be a long video. Fuck that. I gotta show y'all this. I gotta show y'all this. All right. Let me go to my history. Oh, there it go. Right there. Right here. Hold on. Let me find it. Oh, you know what? There's one particular... There was one particular video that I wanted to find about El Chapo escaping prison. This is the moment Joaquin El Chapo Guzman makes the Mexican government look ridiculous. Facing up and down in his cell, calmly, waiting. These are the last. Pretty much, when it comes to these cell phones, oh, here we go, right here. Listen. Above the 
ground. They had ways of blocking cell phone signals. They had heavily armored... Hold on, what? Cell phone signal... What? Place ...above the ground. They had ways of blocking cell phone signals. They had... I had to stop right there. They know that y'all have cell phones in prison. They know this. They let them in. Let me tell you why they let them in. Now, I'm going to go back to that, but I got to tell you why they let them in. All right, here we go. Hold on, what's this? It says the main detected signals are cell phone, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, wireless spy cameras, etc. Pretty much, you know, they have devices that can detect cell phones. Um, they have devices, but I was looking for a cell phone bug. It was a particular video. That I tell you that they could tap in to the 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 speaker and the camera of the cell phone, so they know that the cell phones is in there. Let, let's continue. Had heavily armored vehicles to repulse any sort of ground assault. They even had three foot thick walls so rockets could not break in. And yet, for all of that, El Chapo found a way to burrow out right under. So El Chapo's crew found a way to break their folks out of prison. Can you imagine? If every gang in the United States was able to break their homeboys out of jail, right? It'd make it make the United States itself a whole different place. And it changed the way that prisons are done. And why do we have prisons in the first place? If you look at the majority of the people who are in prison, it's because of the way the laws are set up and not actually because they actually did something to hurt somebody. But let's go back to this drone. I want y'all to see this. So, can you accomplish what technology cannot? Imagination is more powerful than our reasoning, and it's easy to attribute personality, anthropomorphism. That's the illusion. An illusion created by technology and embroidered by our imagination to become an intelligent flying robot, a machine that appears to be alive. Now, I had to show that because I'm not for sure, and I didn't do much studying on this, if he's actually controlling those drones by signal. If he's controlling those drones by signal, that's something different. That's something that they just stepped all the way up on. Look at this one. straightforward for a human being to do this although we do have the advantage of having two feet on the ground and the use of our very versatile hands you can notice that the squad is making fine adjustments to keep the pole balanced here you see that it's stable and even if I give it a little nudges it goes back to a nice balanced position. So what that means is that the robot is thinking, homie. Is thinking. So I say that to say this. While we in jail dancing and and throwing up gang signs, can't wait to get out here and kill each other, you know, slip double the weird one that be thinking that maybe we should be doing something different. You feel me? There's a book called The New Jim Crow. I don't know if y'all can read that. Let me let me bring out the uh, title by Michelle Alexander. Y'all might want to go ahead and look that up. Look that up. Go get that book. Start to understand the way prisons are and it working in a new Jim Crow. But you have to understand the whole scope of this thing and where this is going. 
that's why certain information is put out there now because hey we done stepped our game up drones is going to be the new enemies a lot of police officers is going to get replaced by drones people are uh, look they gonna have hitman drones out there this is what's happening and this is what's going on and everything that's happening in like the, what they call the middle east it's going to come back here. People are pretty much the enemy of the state. And I was looking also, I was looking for a particular, um, it was a particular type of swarm that they was talking about that they have bases that they go back to and recharge. And you pretty much can set these up by themselves and they'll recharge by themselves. They'll go here and recharge and stay out. You know, this is where we are nowadays. So, yeah, when Slip Devil will be like, man, we need to stop all this bullshit. We need to focus. And I'm not trying to team up with everybody. You know, I'm not. I don't I don't care. It's to a point now to where, fuck, I just I want to team up with who's ever paying attention. Who's ever not with the bullshit. Whoever know that we actually been poisoned through our food. So, just people that's really ready to do some work. Not all this damn plan that these grown ass men doing want to look pretty with purses. You feel me? So yeah, man, let's work. And those that's ready to work, let's work. Feel me? But y'all stay safe. God bless y'all hustle. All right.